Hey, hey, here we are. We're at our newest exam, which is known as the Osmosis Diffusion Endocrine and Excretory Excitement Exam. And so as usual, I will read the entirety of the exam to you. Uh, you will be able to skip through if you'd like and go back and forth, but um, I would take advantage, especially if you have an IEP or 504 plan that says that it's beneficial to you to have questions read to you. Why not? That's why I'm here doing it this way. All right. So let's uh, do the test. Question one. <clears throat> if frog eggs taken from a freshwater pond are placed in a saltwater aquarium, what will most likely happen? A, the water, water will neither enter nor leave the eggs. B, the eggs will burst. C, salt will leave the eggs. D, water will leave the eggs. Question two. In the diffusion through a membrane lab, the model cell membranes allowed certain substances to pass through based on which characteristics of the diffusing substance? A, color, B, shape, C, temperature, D, size. Which characteristic allows enzymes to function in a specific way? A, enzymes are complex compounds composed of starch. B, each enzyme has a characteristic shape. C, enzymes are long, complex, fatty molecules. D, each enzyme is made up of four subunits. Oh, I just figured I could move myself around. No, maybe not. Where? All right. Microbes that enter the body and cause disease are known as A, antibodies. Let me read that over. Microbes that enter the body and cause disease are known as A, enzymes, B, antibodies, C, pathogens, D, hosts. Number five. In humans, most enzyme-controlled reactions have their greatest reaction rates at a pH value closest to A, pH closest to 1, B, 12, C, 7, D, 14. The graph below represents the rate of enzyme action when different concentrations of enzyme are added to a system with a fixed amount of substrate. At which enzyme concentration does all of the available substrate react with the enzyme? Is it A, 0 0.3 milligrams per milliliter, B, 0 0.2 milligrams per milliliter, C, 0 0.05 milligrams per milliliter, or D, 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter? Question seven, the warmer areas of the body of a Siamese cat have light fur. The cooler areas, such as the ears and feet, are covered with a dark fur. A specific enzyme controls the production of pigment that causes the fur to become dark. What is one inference that could be drawn about the enzyme that controls dark pigment found formation? A, it is denatured at cooler body temperatures. B, it is more active at cooler body temperatures. C, it is more active at warmer temperatures. D, it is affected by an acidic pH. Question eight. Starch turns blue-black in the presence of a starch indicator. Dialysis tubing tied at both ends and containing starch solution is placed in a beaker of water. Yellowish brown starch indicator is then added to the water. Right, here's the setup. We've got a beaker full of water with indicator in the water, and then tubing with starch in the tubing. The laboratory setup shown would most likely be used to demonstrate the process of A, active transport, B, replication, D, diffusion, 
C, diffusion. D, cellular respiration. Number nine, in humans, the filtrate of the nephrons is stored in the A, urinary bladder, B, alveolus, C, gallbladder, D, glomerulus. Number 10, which one of the following statements describes a feedback mechanism involving the human pancreas? A, the production of urine allows for excretion of cell wastes. B, the level of oxygen in the blood is related to your heart rate. C, the production of estrogen stimulates the formation of gametes for sexual reproduction. D, the level of sugar in the blood is affected by the amount of insulin also in the blood. The graph below shows the concentration of sugar, glucose, in the blood of a human over a 24-hour period after an injection of insulin. All right, so amount of blood sugar hours after injection. Which conclusion can be supported by this data? A, blood sugar concentration rises after the body uses up the inject injected insulin. B, insulin raises the blood sugar concentration in the liver. C, blood sugar concentration remained constant in the blood throughout the 24-hour period. D, insulin lowers blood sugar concentration in muscle cells. Damage to which structure would most likely or most directly disrupt the water balance within a single-celled organism? A, chloroplast. B, nucleus, C, cell membrane, D, ribosome. Letter B, question 13. What letter B indicates structures that function in the A, the transport of blood directly to the glomerulus of a kidney? B, reabsorption of water, minerals, and digestive end products? C, filtration of plasma leaving the blood. D, transport of urine to the ureter. What, might, what will most likely result if a diabetic injects an overdose of insulin? A, a serious infection in the pancreas. D, a dangerous drop in blood sugar levels. C, an accumulation of wastes in the bloodstream. D, an increase in the production of pancreatic enzymes. The graph below, question 15, illustrates a comparison between pH and conditions, pH conditions and a species survival rates in a certain Adirondack Lake. Right. The effect of pH on survival rate in certain Adirondack lakes. And you can see here that the y-axis is increasing survival rate. And then the x-axis is pH of water, which seems to be decreasing from 7 down to 2.5. In the years between 1880 and 1980, which species was, would most likely have been eliminated First, due to the gradual acidification of the Adirondack Lakes. In the years between 1880 and 1890, which species would have most likely have been eliminated due to the gradual acidification of Adirondack Lakes? Is it A, the smallmouth bass, B, brown trout, C, lake trout, D, mussels? Question 16, what occurs during the digestion of protein? A, specific enzymes break down proteins into amino acids. B, specific hormones break down proteins into complex starches. C, specific hormones break down proteins into simple sugars. D, specific enzymes break down proteins into simple sugars. Number 17, which activity is not a response of human white blood cells in relation to pathogens? 
is not a response. A, engulfing and destroying bacteria. B, identifying invaders for destruction. C, producing antibodies. D, removing carbon dioxide. All right, which, number 18, which substance should be used in an investigation that is designed to determine the degree of acidity at which an enzyme works best? A, methylene blue, B, glucose solution, C, pH paper, D, Lugol's iodine solution. Number 19, the diagram below represents two molecules that can interact with each other to cause a biochemical process that occurs in the cell. The molecule A, molecule B, interact with each other. Molecules A and B most likely represent A, an antibody and a hormone. B, a receptor and a hormone. C, a carbohydrate and an amino acid. D, a protein and a chromosome. Number 20, a sealed dialysis membrane containing iodine solution was placed in a beaker of starch solution. After one hour, the color of the starch solution would most likely be A, pink, B, blue, black, C, red, orange, D, white. Which gland, or what gland is this question 21, what gland is often called the master gland? because many of its hormones stimulate the activities of other glands. A, adrenal, B, pancreas, C, parathyroid, D, pituitary. Question 22. In humans, one difference between the nervous system and the endocrine system is that, A, nerve responses are more rapid than endocrine responses. B. Only the nervous system plays a role in homeostasis. C, only the endocrine system secretes chemicals. Chemicals. D, nerve responses are of longer duration than endocrine responses. Number 23, a protein on the surface of HIV can attach to proteins on the surface of healthy human cells. These attachment sites on the surface of the cells are known as a, inorganic, inorganic catalysts. B, molecular bases. C, receptor molecules. D, genetic codes. The diagram below represents a chemical reaction, chemical reaction that recurs in the human body. We've got part of a starch molecule and molecule Z plus water you get molecule X, molecule Y, and the same molecule Z. Which of the following statements describes the characteristic of molecule Z in the given diagram? A, molecule Z will function best at a specific pH. B, molecule Z is composed up of a string of molecular bases represented by A, T, G, and C. C, molecule Z is not specific, so this reaction can be controlled by any other chemical in the body. And D, molecule Z will function at any temperature above 20 degrees Celsius. Question 25, some human white blood cells help destroy pathogenic bacteria by A, producing toxins that compete with the bacterial toxins. B, causing mutations in the bacteria. C, inserting part of their DNA into the bacterial cells. D, engulfing and digesting the bacteria. Question 26. The diagram below shows the changes that occurred in a beaker after 30 minutes. The beaker contained water, food coloring, and a bag made from dialysis tubing membrane. All right, so here we've got the before, yellow food coloring outside of the bag, blue on the inside of the bag. 30 minutes later, green on the outside, green on the inside. Which of the following, which one of the following statements best explains the changes shown in the diagram? A, molecules moved across the membrane only when additional energy was supplied. B, molecules moved across the membrane without additional energy being supplied. 
C. Molecular movement was aided by the presence of a specific enzyme molecules on the surface of the membrane. D. Molecular movement was aided by the presence of a specific carbohydrate molecule on the surface of the membrane. We're getting there. Question 27. A vaccine used against an infectious disease may contain A, toxic enzymes, B, weakened pathogens, C, a variety of antibiotics, or D, specialized blood cells. Question 28. It has been hypothesized that a chemical known as BW prevents colds. To test this hypothesis, 20,000 volunteers were divided into four groups. Each volunteer took a white pill every morning for one year. The contents of the pill taken by the members of each group are shown in the chart below. All right, there are four groups. Each group has the same number of volunteers. Each pill has a different amount of the chemical BW. And then the percent developing colds, you see that you get different amounts in each group. Which of the following statements is a valid inference based on these results? A, sugar reduced the number of colds. B, sugar increased the number of colds. C, BW is always effective in the prevention of colds. D, BW may not be effective in the prevention of colds. Uh, question 29. Pieces of pH paper were used to test the contents of these three test tubes. The results are shown in the diagram before. Test tube A has a pH of 7. Test tube B, a pH of 2. Test tube C, a pH of 9. Which of the following statements about these tubes is correct? A, test tube B contains an acid. B, test tube A contains a base. C, test tube B contains a base. D, test tube C contains an acid. Question 30. A little girl became ill with German measles, Aww. but she recovered. A year later, she was exposed to the disease again, but did not become ill. Which is the most probable explanation for her failure to develop me measles after her second exposure? A, Antibiotics taken during the initial illness were still at work. B, the disease virus had mutated into a totally different strain. C, specific antibodies were produced as a result of the initial illness. D, her red blood count was elevated. Mr. Goldback, question 31, was playing one of his students many, many, many fun games. In this game, you had to collect ATP in order to move your pieces across a membrane. Which of the following was the most likely the topic of that game? A, facilitated diffusion. B, active transport. C, microscopes. D, effective pH. As you've read the hot zone, which of the following diseases has been highlighted and described? A, COVID-19. B, the flu. C, Ebola. D, West Nile. And our last question of the test. For Christmas, Mr. Kobach got a collection of beads that he could string together to make a necklace. When he makes a necklace by stringing together beads, it is most like A, dehydration synthesis to make proteins out of amino acids. B, denaturing proteins by raising the pH of a solution. C, a macrophage attacking and engulfing a pathogen. D, the immune response that is activated by B cells. And thus concludes our test. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did reading it.